All right, everyone, the uh, Biden-Trump election may be completely rigged all to hell with no clear outcome at the moment. Hell, they still haven't even called Alaska on most sites. And, and you don't even know what the electoral total is because, like, the, the different sites and media outlets are calling different races at different times for different candidates anyway. It's a goddamn clusterfuck of awful. But there is really, really good news, and that's that marijuana won in every state it was on the ballot. New Jersey, Montana, and Oregon. And Oregon has now decriminalized, effectively, all drugs. That is, they are no longer going to enforce uh, anything against minor possession and, and simple use uh, for even things like coke and heroin. I approve of this. I've been pushing for the drug war to end, and not just the, the uh, bullshit about, well, I want to be able to smoke weed. Okay, you know, weed's fine. You should be able to snort cocaine as well. You should be able to shoot liquefied cocaine into your veins if you really feel the need to do so. There should be no laws regarding it that go beyond DUI and, and disorderly conduct and things of that nature. For consenting adults to be able to use whatever substances they want, I think should be completely unrestricted. In fact, I don't even know that it's necessarily a problem with people that are under the age of 18. They want them to have other constitutional rights. Well, you know, a 16-year-old can bear arms, but they can't smoke joint. I'm not sure that I'm uh, uh, really understanding. And when people say, I'll, I'll give you a couple of the counters to this that I hear from people generally on the right, by the way, um, decreasingly, but it's there. Oh, well, it's gonna turn us into brave new world. It's gonna make people lazy and complacent. Wrong. Uh, you gotta understand that for the first 100 years of our nation's history, there were no, me well, actually almost 150, there were no meaningful anti-drug laws. The, the first things that you get are attacks on the opium dens. Really, you, you get towards the, the end of the 19th century, they start going after opium dens because it was considered to be Asian in extraction. And, you know, there was human trafficking associated with it to some extent and, and prostitution. Uh, and they decide to clean up the streets. So they start getting ordinances against opium dens. And then they go after marijuana because it was considered a black person's drug. And they go after alcohol because feminists and fire and brimstone uh, ministers in the late 19th century, they wanted men to be sober. Uh, the women were tired of their men smelling like booze and wasting money on alcohol, and the church didn't want them wasting the money on, on booze either and getting drunk on Sunday. They wanted them to show up and tithe. They wanted money. So they uh, coalesced together to, to pass prohibition after about 30 years of uh, attempting to enforce temperance by going up, uh, sending suffragettes into the bars with axes to go and attack the liquor bottles, and of course, what are you going to do? You got a crazy lady with an axe. You can't kill her because she's a lady. Um, you can't stop her because she'll chop your head off. What are you supposed to do? Buy, buy booze. And so they would go and break up the stills, so to speak, long before the G-men were involved in, in prohibition. Uh, anyway, people weren't lazy or complacent. They were the ones that built the fucking foundations of Western civilization. They were way more hardworking than people today. And they were frequently intoxicated. The fact is that if a person... Back then, the water quality in most areas was so poor, people would mix it with liquor anyway. Literally, they, 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 literally a, a population tended to be slightly tipsy virtually all the time, uh, up until relative modernity with chlorination of water and, and so forth. Modern sanitary systems. Even now, it's a common practice in certain parts of the third world. You use cheap booze, you put a shot in to the pitcher of water, it kills the bacteria and parasites in there, and it's actually better for you. It's literally better just to walk around slightly tipsy all the time. <laughs> as far as other drugs, trust me, I've used many of them. They do not make you lazy or complacent. Your Neanderthal ancestors developed ritualized social behavior largely because they were hallucinating. That's the, sort of the origin of all, all these religions and your beautiful art and your stories about people up in the sky. What the fuck do you think was the, the, was the cause of that? In the Victorian era when people were extra stoned and drinking absinthe and using opium and taking cocaine tooth drops and giving their babies uh, heroin uh, infusions in order to get them to stop crying when they were teething and stuff. Now, why do you think that some of the most flowery, weird art and, and literature and poetry that you've ever had in human history comes from these periods of time punctuated by drug use? They weren't lazy or complacent, it made them more creative. Plus, at the end of the day, it costs a lot less to give people rehab and, and to send the cops out to go and, and uh, go after rapists or child molesters or murderers. It makes far more sense to do that than it does to put people in prison for smoking a joint. 
the effect that oh, another thing they'll say well it's harmful to society well first of all fuck society it's about individualism that's the foundation of civilization the individual not not a collective group thereof having some sort of onerous unilateral right over all human behavior but the idea that there are individual rights as well that individual components of society matter in, in the most ultimate sense not only that i'd say wouldn't it be more harmful to society to sidetrack the police spend billions and billions of dollars incarcerating people that don't need to be incarcerated it doesn't have any positive impact on addiction anyway it's just like prohibition when prohibition was passed drunkenness skyrocketed people went to the speakeasy they got a medical uh, brandy prescription and and the problem was because of prohibition they couldn't get rehabilitation in the general sense the town drunk couldn't he didn't have a rehab center to go to he couldn't talk it out with his friends and family he'd go to jail and then, of course, you know, the alcohol, you wear off and he gets the DTs and maybe dies. There was no treatment available. People were, were drunk anyway. It's just they hit it. Once you come out into the open, once you start addressing it as the medical problem that it is, addiction, as opposed to being some sort of moral failing or social ill, then you can actually tackle the problem. Now, alcoholism rates in, in most of the West have dwindled over time until recently. You pass a total lockdown. Oh, I got nothing to do but drink anyway. Play video games. Why do you think that why do you think people are gaining weight right now? Can't go anywhere. Can't fucking do anything. That's the, the the biggest moral failing of our time comes from the authoritarian approach to pandemic response at the moment. But the drug war is ending. Uh, this is something that I speak glowingly of, always have. Uh, some of my earliest videos on YouTube that had any traction were me railing against the drug war or talking about my own drug experiences. Yeah, but by the way, in full admission, I used drugs mostly before they were legalized. I smoked weed uh, at UVM before Vermont legalized it. Yeah, sorry, mom and dad. I know I, officially I should be like a total wreck right now, incapable of stringing together a coherent sentence. I should be like brain dead and on crack in an alley or something, according to some of these drug war fools. Thankfully, their chorus is becoming much, much more silent over time because we're realizing, you know, at some point people began realizing that countries that had decriminalized substances were not overrun by anarchy. Um, and then they looked at human history and said, wow, it wasn't like dystopian and stuff. Actually, you know, the founders were probably all drunk when they were signing the Declaration of Independence anyway. What the fuck are we so afraid of from intoxicating substances? They should all be legal. And I don't mean legal in the sense of, oh, we're going to legalize, regulate, and tax it. No, 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 fuck that. Legal as in you should be able to grow a couple weed plants and people should leave you the fuck alone. Legal as in, if you want cocaine, you should have cocaine, and you shouldn't be molested and abused by the government for having it. As long as you're not harming anyone else. You're in a hotel room with a couple of lines, who gives a fucking shit? Dude, and, and I, uh, what I really love is when older people will lecture you about drugs. Oh, I think it's a moral family. Bullshit. Your generation was the most high of all. You were the hippies and stuff. And, and don't get me wrong, trust me. Not everyone, in fact, only a small proportion of people back in like the 50s, 60s were sort of beatnik and hippie. I understand that. The rest of them were all snorting airplane g glue out of a bag. Put the glue in the bag and huff it. They were taking little red pills and shit. They were doing drugs. They'd try a little bit of reefer. They just didn't touch the acid and shrooms. They liked a good pint. They liked a good shot of whiskey. Is that not a drug? They all smoked marbs all day. Should have switched to Winston's. <laughs> anyway, uh, it should be legal. Uh, who cares? There's no such thing as memorial failing. Uh, you, the youth will be corrupted. People will be lazy. That's bullshit. That's the authoritarian's way of marketing the anti-drug rhetoric to a crowd that otherwise would look at it from a libertarian point of view and say, why the fuck is the government telling me what I can and cannot put in my body on my own private time? It's horse shit. That's about all. Peace out.